So in this video, again, I have focused on both full-time traders and working professionals. So let us first take a look at Bajaj Finance. This is the 60 minute time frame here. So this is the main candle. Look at the high point and the low point. So the range is marked out here. So the volatility contraction pattern developed on Friday. So these are the five candles that you see on the chart that form within the range of this main candle here. So this was the main reason why I shortlisted this stock for Monday because on an early time frame, volatility contraction was clearly visible. So let me now explain how time frame and the overhead resistance level play a huge role in determining whether you need to trade a stock for the day or you need to carry this forward. That is, if you're a working professional, this section will be important for you. So this is how I marked out the resistance level for Bajaj Finance. Now on an early time frame chart, this is a relevant swing high point. So the high point naturally becomes the resistance level and same goes for this wide range candle here that formed on 22nd. So high point of this candle also becomes the resistance level. So if price breaks out from this level, then naturally implication of that is more because of the fact that strong resistance level is present at higher levels and a clean breakout above this level would mean that stock would trend much higher. And do recollect that volatility contraction pattern forming on an early time frame chart is much stronger than the pattern forming on let's say a 5 minute or 15 minute time frame chart. So on Monday price gapped up and you got a wide range candle on an early time frame. Look at the volume expansion. Volume is clearly higher than the recent volume seen and then steadily price started moving higher. Now in the live module that will play out at a later stage you will see that when I spotted this breakout in real time, I do mention that this breakout is going to be sustainable and Bajaj Finance would be heading at least 5 to 10% higher from the breakout level. The main reason for that is that the breakout was happening on a higher time frame chart that is on an early time frame chart and over an established resistance level. Now the moment an established resistance level is crossed with momentum, let me tell you that trade should be held for a swing trade purpose and you should not be closing that trade on the particular day. So this is what a working professional should look into. That is look at volatility contraction pattern on a higher time frame chart. So this is 60 minute and then wait for established resistance or established support level to be breached. Now when you watch the live module for Bajaj Finance playing out, that is when you will understand a lot of things in detail. Therefore do watch this till the end. So the key thing to note in the Bajaj Finance trade was that the contraction pattern played out on a 60 minute time frame chart, clear overhead resistance was visible and once the gap occurred on the chart, this was a clear sign that this was a swing trade based on the resistance and the time frame selection. Now this is a key point that many traders miss. So in this trade, both the entry and analysis time frame was 60 minute and I hope you can now assess the impact of time frame and resistance in terms of identifying a swing trade on the chart. Now this is very useful for working professionals. Click on the subscribe button and bell icon to get instantly notified when a new video is uploaded. Thank you for subscribing. So the next trade based on volatility contraction was in Godrej Consumer Products and uh, this trade was on June 3rd. So on June 2nd, now this is a 30 minute time frame chart. Now take a look at this wide range candle. The high point is marked here and the low point is marked here. So this becomes the range. Now look at how many candles are there within the range of this candle. So clear volatility contraction is visible. Now take a note here that the time frame is 30 minute whereas for the Bajaj Finance trade, the time frame was 60 minute. Now in previous video, I had clearly mentioned that if you're a short term trader, swing trader, prefer 60 minute time frame and if you're a day trader then identify this pattern on a 30 minute time frame chart. Now again time frame here is coming to your rescue in terms of identifying whether you need to keep this trade for the day or you need to carry it forward. Now after defining the time frame for the chart here it is 30 minutes the next step is to mark out the resistance level. So in this chart that is for Godrej consumer products the resistance level is visible over the past two sessions only. Therefore this is not a strong resistance level when you compare it with the resistance level marked out for Bajaj Finance which was over a period of seven sessions. I hope this vital point is clear. Now once the time frame was defined and the resistance level was marked I then moved down to a five minute time frame chart to capture the breakout that happened in Godrej consumer products. Now do recollect that this is a day trade here and therefore I am 
analyzing the structure on a 30 minute time frame chart and for entry and exit i am preferring 5 minute time frame chart so this was the breakout candle here so volumes were not that great but still price expansion was clearly visible so this is a long wick candle here generally i don't like entering when such candles form but in the live module you will see that i took entry right at the open because volatility contraction was visible on a 30 minute time frame chart and this was a clear indication that is such opening that price would head higher now just pay attention to what i'm going to show you here after the opening candle finish that is the first 5 minutes got over take the high point take the low point and then see what again happened you again got a set of these 6 7 candles within the main opening candle here so not only did you get a volatility contraction pattern on a 30 minute time frame chart you then again got one on a 5 minute time frame chart so as a day trader if you encounter this let me tell you this becomes a high probability setup and whichever way the breakout happens do take that trade the pattern occurred on a 30 minute time frame chart overhead resistance was visible but it was not as strong as what you saw on the bajaj finance trade and for entry time frame i preferred 5 minute chart mainly because if you are experienced a 5 minute time frame along with a 30 minute time frame combination can give you really good entry and exit opportunities now in case some of you are beginners then for day trading start with something like 15 minute or 30 minute time frame So let me now play out the live module for Bajaj Finance and for Godrej Consumer Product Trade. So it's 9:15 in the morning. Bajaj Finance has given a breakout. Let me just check Indusind Bank. So similar structure is forming on Indusind as well. Now uh, I will take a trade in Bajaj Finance because it had fallen a lot over the last two to three weeks. So I'll just check back on Bajaj Finance chart in a bit. This is early time frame. And also for those of you who are channel members. VSA part 7 has been released and I have given a link in the description box below. So it's 9:22 look at the candle forming. Now definitely Bajaj Finance is going to head higher even the broader market momentum is exceptionally strong. So the current time frame is early chart and I'll just switch to 15 minute and see uh, how the structure is shaping up. So again this is a strong candle volumes are good and since this is a swing trade that is what I'm planning for I'll switch back to 30 minute time frame. Now again on a 30 minute time frame structure is good I'll just check back on what Indus Ind Bank is also doing because even that was on my watch list So relatively a weaker structure in Indus Ind Bank I'll go back to Bajaj Finance So currently price is at 2032.45 and I think uh, stock looks really good for the day So this is the volatility range look at the price range here and now take a look at volume expansion Now since this is a swing trade I will keep low point of this range as my stop loss. So this is a fairly strong closing of the candle here. Now this entire structure that you see is very bullish and currently price is up 6.6% and most of the traders would hesitate to go long here which is right because risk reward from day trading point of view is not ideal but when it comes to swing trading yes I think risk reward is ideal here. and price should move at least 5 to 10% from here based on the kind of breakout that has happened from the volatility pattern now it is currently 11 11 in the morning and i'll again check back in some time to see how the trade is progressing so it's 11:31 fresh day high for bajaj finance again strong momentum clearly visible especially after this breakout candle here there was some consolidation but i think now traders are again taking long position i think from 2 to 3 days point of view because the momentum is exceptionally strong and you can just feel looking at volumes that a lot of accumulation is happening and stock will be heading higher so it's 7.64% up now and even the broader market is gaining further momentum so it's 1137 again look at the range of the scandal volumes are coming in and now price is up 8.45% so clearly a lot of accumulation is happening in bajaj finance and lot has to do with how the stock was beaten down over the last couple of weeks whereas uh, relatively other financial sector stocks held up quite well so it's 1144 look at the range of the candle look at the volumes that have come in again so price is now up 9.6% so let me just check back on indusind bank because i had shortlisted but momentum was not visible there you go so no major movement happening whereas if you take a look at bajaj finance candle here clear expansion is visible 
So right from the point we started tracking this stock, it was up 3.8% and now it is up 9.8%. So that is 6% move for the day. So it's 12.20, look at this candle here, price is now up 11.5%. So already for the day, a swing trader is making about 7% gain. And the way the stock is shaping up, I think in the next two to three sessions also, you should see strong up movement in Bajaj Finance. So it's 12.44, price is currently at 21.68. And what I'll do now is I'll just close this live module. I have to explain a few things about importance of time frame and why marking out correct resistance levels can help you identify swing trading opportunities. Now this is going to be more useful for working professionals. So it's 9.56 in the morning and currently price is in a good structure. I'll just mark out the bottom end range of the volatility contraction pattern. Uh, so there you go. This is the bottom end range. So this is a five minute time frame chart. I have analyzed the overall structure on a 30 minute time frame chart. I will share those details later. So take a look at volume profile. This is a good support and uh, even the entire structure is positive. Look at uh, this positive structure of price. I think we're heading higher. The only thing that I'm worried about right now is that if you take a look at volume panel, expansion is not yet visible, but I think uh, as, so there you go, some movement is happening on the upside, a fresh day's high for uh, price now, that is uh, Godrej consumer products. Look at the range of the scandal. Volumes will come in. I am sure of it because a breakout is happening from a volatility contraction pattern. So again, take a look at the scandal. Some strong buyers are coming in and uh, volume expansion will eventually begin. Else I will start doubting this uh, move on the upside. So this stock actually qualifies for a day trade. Earlier in the week, I traded Bajaj Finance for a swing trade basis. I'll explain all of this once uh, I send the video out for editing. That is for Bajaj Finance trade and the Godrej consumer that is today's trade. So price is moving higher. And uh, I think we are going to see further upside in the stock. So it's almost 10 in the morning and price is currently at 660. Now volumes have started picking up. Look here. And this is a positive sign for the stock. I think much higher levels are going to come up. And at least for this particular session, I will be holding this stock and I'll be looking to offload somewhere around, uh, let's say 666, 670, 675. Let's see how the day progresses because broader market momentum is not that great today but it is still above the normal average that we have seen over the last two to three months. So it's closer to 10, seven in the morning. Again, a fresh day's eye look here. So this stock is definitely trying to move higher and uh, it's again a positive sign. I'll again keep this live module short because my intention here is to highlight the importance of volatility contraction pattern. And also this week I have chosen how to use time frame and previous resistance level in your favor in order to determine valid entry price and in order to determine whether a trade is suitable on a day trading basis or on swing trading basis. So it's closer to 10, 12 in the morning and currently price is at 668. Look at the range of the scandal, very close now to 670 level and also take a note of the volume activity here. So this was again a strong candle here. Now after some bit of contraction here, then price has again started moving higher. And now I have to explain you a few things about time frames, about resistance and support, and uh, which is why I'll just keep this section short. So today is 4th June, that is Thursday. And this is where I stopped recording the live session on June 1st. Now from there, look what happened. Bajaj Finance went from 2160 to 2480. Now the main reason why this could happen was because the volatility contraction pattern had formed on a higher time frame chart. And this is where assessing support and resistance and higher time frame is so crucial in trading. So let us take a look at what happened with Godrej consumer products. So this is where I traded it on 3rd June. Price moved higher, moved up to 668, 672 and then started moving lower. So the main reason was because the volatility contraction was happening on a much lower time frame and hence this was only valid for the day. So the reason why I could assess what was going on with Godrej consumer products as a day trade and why I assessed Bajaj Finance as a swing trade was mainly based on the strength of the resistance level that is and based on the time frame combination. So for those of you who missed the video on volatility contraction, I'll just link it up here. So do watch all the remaining live trading episodes because this will help you get better at day trading and short term trading. So kindly consider hitting the like button and sharing this video if you find the content useful. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys. Take care and be safe.